Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving me another full game recap. Once again, I'm going to be using the Run Heavy as my primary offensive playbook. On defense, multiple defensive uh, playbook uh, is going to be that. I'll be using a lot of 52, probably 43 um, as my primary defenses. So uh, going against uh, the San Francisco 49ers, very rare team to see um, online regs, not a very common team to do. And I can tell you that this guy was a tough opponent. Um, he, he was very good with his defense. It was, I was having a hard time um, moving the ball against his defense. His defense did not play the way it's supposed to. Uh, he was running. He would show me cover four, and he would switch into different types of plays uh, based off of a cover four look. And um, he actually he messed up my reads. Like I, I have certain plays that I'm gonna use against certain d different types of play, uh, different formations, and I he just I just not I didn't have a good uh, good time against this guy. So right here, actually go in and look to the route right here. I got away with one. Um, I've been picked off on this particular route a couple times in my last couple of game plays, and he's running cover four. So I whipped up my outside my outside tight end with the anticipation that the deep comeback route will be wide open. But look at the defender float up to deep comeback route, almost picking me off. I got away with one another time. So second and 10 situation, going with basically a, a, a bunch formation, a, drag, a drive formation. I was looking to the post. I just couldn't get the ball off. His edge rushers were getting off my, my edge right here. So right here you can see another guy came blitzing in and actually goes in and gets, me, he gets sacked. I end up punting the ball back to my opponent. Uh, no reason to give him some easy points so right here um, I'm running with the 52 defense again I just want to try to establish this against my opponent get a nice little uh, block shed to go in and contain that outside run he's going with a heavy set man up my two defenders just to basically do this I get myself out of position he actually hits the the tight end over the middle of the field I actually got tied up in blocking as because I was trying to preoccupy that guard uh, to make the blitz more effective so um, He's coming into a, a, a bunch set or tight set formation. Got the pressure off the edge right there to go ahead and give him for a sack. So second and 18 situation. Once again, staying with his bunch set. Um, and he uses a lot of drags underneath. And he hit this guy a uh, little little drag underneath right here. So you're gonna take you're gonna make make a note of that and make adjustments. So right here, I actually go ahead and go into a 43 defense, and I think I'm using hard flats. <clears throat> and I cross man my safeties uh, just to go ahead. And give him hard, uh, give him a hard time right here. Uh, so I uh, have a defender actually floats up. I got some kind of a crazy inside blitz pressure. That's not supposed to happen. I'm not. It, it was just mad and luck. So right here, hit him with the with a little pitch to the outside. Pick up some pretty good blocking. Couldn't keep Freeman inbounds. Hit the sideline. So back to the spot spot route right here. And uh, the spot route actually got covered up. And I actually was able to go and hit the corner route in the back inside. So made a good read right there. I'm lucky I'm able to hold on to the inside. So uh, down here, down in the red zone, um, I'm looking for the drag route. Hit hit that drag route and able to go and get the uh, get get a, 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 um, a nine year completion right there. So uh, flip the play once again. Gonna go do the little pitch route and right here try to spin, but his defender actually completely locks me up and I do not get a first down from that. So he actually got, he he pushed me back a half yard. So a little inside run. Motion my guy across just to give myself a little bit more blocking, and I just barely get a first down right there. So, minute and 20 seconds left right here. This is uh, basically a levels concept off to the right. <clears throat> Use the play action animation, and he's actually dragging right there. He got another block shed to go and sack me uh, for a loss. So, right here, I queue up uh, basically seam play that should be wide open over the middle and actually follows a seam, but I've got a, a, a dig route underneath it that actually comes comes open. So, a third and 19 situation. He's running a lot of this, this cover four, mixing up his defenses. I actually, he chases one of my defenders right or my wide receivers right there, so it just messes me up, and I totally mistimed. So, you take a look at the, at the clock below. 
and this is Reed. So what I do is I just go ahead and chew up the clock as much as possible. He's not stopping it. I go and kick the ball. I know I'm going to miss it. I couldn't take a timeout. So I might as well just not give him the ball and, and not give him an opportunity to go and get some cheap points himself. So scores tied 0-0 going into the second half. Uh, basically this comes down to whoever scores first is going to be in a pretty good situation. So this guy was actually making adjustments. He, I think he switched to different types of plays. Uh, he, would, he would jump out of it. But this guy liked to go ahead and do a lot of drag routes, flat routes, underneath. <clears throat> Everything was underneath. So right here, once again, a little flat route <clears throat> with the drive sale. Um, back, I wanted to cover four, just because I wanted to switch things up. I was running, I'm running multiple Ds, so I have a, a 34 look that I can jump into too. Spread up my guys, and because it's cover four, it's going to be a little bit harder against the run. So I uh, go into the uh, basically my, my safety blitz type situation, and right here actually throws right into my defender. It's a little crossing route. I'm able to go and get an interception, and this is a huge play right there. So. Uh, two minutes uh, left in the third quarter. Uh, this is a sale play. And basically take Jones and I actually streak him up just to kind of give myself a tuck. Go into the flat route there. This defender's able to go and tie that up. I think Richard Sermon is on that side. And that's why that play actually worked out for him. So go back in the tight end corner. The corner actually floated up. But look at the pressure off the edge. It's like a looping pressure that came around. Uh, went past my tackle and it was just a clean blitz. I, I get rid of the ball, but... Uh, I didn't have any way to stop it, so I think I didn't block, block anybody. I did a block and release with the running back. And look at the corner. He switched into some type of man coverage, and Ridley's able to get the ball into the end zone for me to go ahead and go up by seven points. Huge. Based on the on the way this game's playing, this is, that was a huge play. So defense is not set up correctly. Uh, basically, there's the one thing about the safety defense, that safety blitz defense, is that you have to make adjustments. And if you have any kind of a lag or delay, then which was something going on with my computer, is that um, my, my gameplay is, was very laggy. That's I missed a field goal in the previous game that I was playing. A lot of it had to do with the lag. So right here, he throws a ball right at me. I pull my defender out of position, and he's able to go ahead and take off with it and get a nice big completion down the middle of the field. So a minute and 30 seconds left. Once again, I don't want to take away these little crossing routes he's, he was killing me with. And right here, he, f he hits a post route to get the ball into the red zone to go uh, get the score tied basically 7-7. Uh, seven, seven. So... Go with the pitch route again. Uh, he just could, his defense was really not that good. And now I jump into a strong tight formation. Something I haven't showed. I haven't even I haven't broke this down. But you can see right here, this is a formation. It's got a, it's got a, a, a stretch play. It also has um, a, a fullback dive. So it's a little bit unique. He actually this play actually he pulled his defenders off, and there was nobody out there. So I basically took the quick out. So right here, go back to the pitch out of the trio, single back trio, and able to go and get the ball down here. And you can see the clock is just rolling down, rolling down. So there's a difference between my offensive tack and his is that he could not get his running game going, whereas I could. So nice little inside zone with a full back dive, which is my second running back right there to go ahead and take the clock down. He takes his first time out of the game. I know he's starting to feel the pressure because I'm starting to get into field goal range. And right here, I go with this little spot route right here, pop it, uh, easy completion, get get a nine-yard completion right there. Um, go back to the pitch play, and look at this look at this user right here. He actually misses my blocker, and he's able to go ahead and get a nice little user uh, tackle right there. So now I just I think I changed things up a little bit. I actually got a little out route right here. I, I just streaked up uh, Ridley. I've got Jones, you know, little drag. I got Hooper as a little drag right here, and um, I'm actually throw it right over the middle of the field because he's looking at the drag routes because we're hitting everything underneath, and I'm able to go and get a nice completion down on the one yard line. So it was one of the just changed up my reads and my and my 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 delay. So working a clock against him. He's got one timeout. Basically, his game is toast. Field goal is going to go and get the ball into the red zone. There's nothing you really can do about it. So I'm just going to keep milking the run, milking the run, milking the run against him <clears throat> to just basically go ahead and beat him. So and I noticed a cover four drop uh, is a very difficult defense to stop someone in the, in the red zone, especially if they got pretty good user. So right here, do a little uh, halfback draw and able to get the ball into the red zone against them, going up by another score. So 14-7 to seven type situation. So I can't give up any kind of cheap score, so I'm just going to fall back into a total preview defense. 
go ahead and throw these balls. I, I really don't care. He actually completes the ball right here, but because he's, he, he has to no huddle, he has to chew up a lot of clock right there. So as you can see, uh, he chewed up 10 seconds. He doesn't have time for 10 seconds. He drops the ball down into the red zone or down into the sideline for a seven second play. So <clears throat> it's not really much he can do. In this type of situation, he's just uh, he's going to have to get the ball into the end zone and make a very aggressive play. So uh, right here, actually pull off to uh, off to double team. He actually overthrows the ball. He would have caught that. He, he had an opportunity if that ball was in the mark and just settles once again. Uh, I get a nice little sack to go and tie this game up. So once again, guys, good defensive game, um, good defensive battle. Able to go and come out on top against this guy. I'm sure that if he had a better team than uh, the 49ers, he probably would win more games. But I guess he's pretty loyal to his team. So. Thank you once again for your support, guys. I'll be rolling out some more gameplay video with this run-heavy formation uh, playbook and also that multiple def uh, defense team.